So when Jesus came to Samaria on his way to Jerusalem, he chose the worship in Jerusalem over the worship of the Samaritan. They rejected him and put him out of the city. This is this is this Jesus. They put him out of the city. Well, his disciples became indignant because Samaria, the Samaritan had put out there, uh, put Jesus out of the city. Luke, Luke 9, they, yeah. And they asked Jesus, says, and when his disciples, James and John, saw this, saw that they put him out, they said, Lord, wilt thou that we, the, uh, the, the, um, the two apostles, James and John, Lord, uh, wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them as Elias did? Uh-huh. And the disciples was angry. And they asked Jesus for permission to call fire down from heaven to destroy the Samaritan city. But listen to what Jesus said. But he turned and rebuked them and said, Ye know not what manner of spirit you are of. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And Jesus did not destroy a single life while he was present here on earth. He did keep men from harming him before his time. They couldn't harm him before his time because when they sought to throw him off a hill or to capture him, he just walked on through them. Just like a bulldog walking down the street. He don't, he don't, he don't, he, he don't worry about the little stuff. It's hard to distract a bulldog. And you couldn't distract Jesus from his mission. He had to get to Jerusalem. And, uh, he made a stop on the Mount of Olives. And do you know what he established on the Mount of Olives? Most commentaries you read, they're talking about he wept over the city of Jerusalem. No. On camera one, I'm going to show you what Jesus established on the Mount of Olives. That's a commonly called a church building. And there are some Christians worshiping God inside of that church building. And those Christians who you see worshiping God in this church building, Jesus made it all possible by his discourse, his Mount of Olives discourse, what he said on the Mount of Olives in Luke chapter 19, verses 41 to 44, established what is commonly called a church, a call out assembly of baptized, submerged, baptized believers in Jesus Christ. It was established on the Mount of Olives. Do you know what makes Jesus your Savior? And this is, this is the last question for today. Do you know what makes Jesus your Savior? I'm talking to you Gentiles, non-Jewish people, the world over. Do you know what makes Jesus of Nazareth your savior? 
what he said on the Mount of Olives. Now, I, I'm going to I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to make this statement that most of you underneath the sound of my voice or most of you that will hear this message will not have the foggiest idea about what Jesus said on the Mount of Olives in Luke chapter 19 verses 40 to 44 and its implications for world history, human history, and biblical history. Ask your pastor, what did Jesus say on the Mount of Olives and what are the implications since what he said has come to pass? Is true. It has to be true if, it's, if it has come to pass. Ask him. So, why does God allow wickedness, sin, and evil to exist? So that those who have accepted his son, Jesus, as their personal savior can be identified from those who do not. And for those who do not, the wrath of God is upon them. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. John 3.18 he who believes is not condemned. And what we're talking about condemned is that you will not escape the second death. You think the little, little death that you experience when you close your eyes is death. That's not death. That's just a sleep. Your soul is alive forever. I'm concerned about your soul. What profit of man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Do you know why God allows wickedness, sin, and evil to exist? So that those who have accepted his son as their personal savior can be, can be identified. Because he will conform them to the image of their son. God bless you. God bless you. There's nothing better in this world than to be known as a born again Christian. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.